Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with another exciting tutorial for you on CG Tutes Plus exclusively. And uh, this time this tutorial will tell you about some free plugins from Blur Studio for 3ds Max. These plugins are free yet very useful and give you very quick results. If you go to splutterfish.com downloads free plugins and tools here you will find several free plugin sets this is the blur beta plugin pack available for max 9 2008 2009 2010 and so on and it says this set has 50 plus plugins developed by a blur studio for 3ds max and when you click on this you can download the plugins pack for whatever 3ds max version you like to and these are the plugins uh, of this pack it's really great but unfortunately there is no documentation available for these plugins uh, like how to use it in uh, your uh, projects so it is a bit hard to know um, because there is no tutorial or any documents available for these plugins but not to worry I am here to take the pain and uh, will tell you about a couple of useful and important plugins today in this tutorial I will describe about two useful plugins first is electric which is used as a texture map and the other is blur fire which is a volumetric effect and used for uh, campfires torches muzzle flashes etc so let's start and uh, let me create a sphere in the viewport make the segments a bit high now press M to open the material editor and uh, in diffuse channel select electric and these are the electric texture map parameters now simply apply this uh, onto the sphere if you render the frame it will look like this now you can play with the values and uh, see the changes uh, you have made let's change the colors of the texture map I am trying to give it some uh, planet kind of look increase uh, the size a bit if you make it turbulence it will look like this increase the size more play with the width and center values make the level 10 and also turn it uh, to fractal Now let's give some uh, bump. So drag the same texture map to the bump channel. And now see the rendered frame. It's looking awesome. This is a great plugin, in fact. You can make so many things with this, uh, like rusted material, draggy surface, planets, so many things. For now, if you animate this, it will look great. Also, you don't have to worry about the seams, uh, though it will look uh, great and flawless. Now, let's make a new scene. And this time, we will see about blur fire. Since this is, a, this is used as a volumetric effect, so for that, we need to use an atmospheric apparatus, like a sphere gizmo. Drag it in the viewport. Now go to rendering, environment, and now in the atmosphere tab, click on add and select blur fire. Okay. And now these uh, are the fire parameters like um, three colors of the fire, 
Here click on uh, pick object and uh, select the sphere gizmo. And now if you render the frame, you will find something like this. Now let's tweak some values. Increase the density as 90. Sample like 10. Flame size also uh, 10. Stretch maybe 10 too. Flame detail uh, maybe 3. Make the curl 1. Now let's see how does it look like. Nice. Okay. I if I make uh, the curl 10, it will look like this. Pretty good. Now let's create a small scene. Drag a tube in the viewport. Increase its height. Turn the scene like this. Actually, I want to make a fireball scene in a tunnel. This is the fire element. Flame size is quite high, so make it something like this. Stretch maybe 12. Density maybe 80. Now if you render the scene, it looks much better. Now press M to open the material editor. And uh, in the diffuse channel, I will bring a bitmap. I have some uh, wall textures. So I pick this wall texture. It's looking good. And apply it to the tube. Let's style the texture a bit. Now place an omni light in the scene. Place it here. Make the color of the light a bit ye yellowish. And multiply a bit high. Put it down a bit. Now open the material editor once again. And uh, drag the diffuse texture map to the bump channel. And now if you render the scene, it will look something like this. So you can play with the light settings and values of the blur fire parameters uh, to achieve great results. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial guys and in my next uh, uh, future tutorials I will try to focus on some more uh, useful blur plugins. So uh, see you next time guys. This is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tutes Plus exclusively. Bye bye.